Okay. <laughs> Do I have any watermelon in my teeth? This is what happens when I slice open a watermelon. I just eat all of it. Hello, all you wonderful people of the internet. I hope you guys are all having a great, great weekend so far. And today we are back. We are testing out some more random kitchen gadgets. Believe it or not, I have found ones that I haven't tried yet. And really, at the end of the day, I just don't want you guys wasting your money on products that don't work. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every single Saturday. And now let's dive into some kitchen gadgets, starting with the one that's right in front of me. It's all about citrus. I'm all about citrus. Really, my middle name should have been Lemon. I have two different citrus-related products here today, and I thought I would test them out and just kind of see. I've always wanted to know if this thing works. This, like, spray thing. I almost sprayed myself in the eye with water. I did clean them. So this one's a mini juicer, and this one is a citrus sprayer. I've seen these all over the place, and I'm so curious if they work. I thought we'd test them out on some lemons, as well as some oranges. Oh, I'm so close, get it. And just kind of compare, see what they're like, see if they do the job or if one's better for one type of fruit versus the other. So let's start by getting, it looks like they just have like a glass to pour the juice into, okay. <laughs> Apparently I don't remember where I keep my glasses. And let's do the oranges first. So I have a nice navel orange right here and looks like they just sort of stick it in and twist it. Sticker's annoying me, I need to stick that off. I'm just gonna stick it in and squish it all the way down. I'm just gonna like squish it around a little bit too to like try and break up some of that fruity goodness. Ooh, it smells really good. Mmm. You know, the more juice I can break up, the better this thing is gonna work, right? And this isn't difficult, by the way. That was like not a lot of work. All right, I feel like I've sufficiently you know, gotten some, some juice moving through. Let's see how much juice I can actually get. Wow, that was disheartening. So much for my early 90s cereal commercial moment. I like squeeze some. Well, then I'm just like splitting it down the side there. I did this right, that's what it says to do. This isn't working well. Well, I did manage to get the, uh, the core out though, so that, that's something. So you can see, didn't get a lot of juice. Did get a little bit though. I had to earn it, I worked for that. Would it do something similar on a lemon, I wonder? Ooh, how do I get this out? This feels like starting all over with that banana cutter thing. Boom. It was a banana, that is pretty easy. Let's try it with a cucumber. It's a little bit harder than I was expecting. Maybe if I only do a couple at a time. I cut myself. <laughs> pretty not great. It's all right, everyone, crisis averted. Well, I don't need a giant glass then. Let's get one of these little guys. I mean, I like a nice glass of hot lemon water in the morning, a little bit of honey in it, all right? Woo, starting to juice. Ah, uh, well. I do have to say, it smells delightful in here. Yay, this is working a little bit better. All right, I mean, looking at them side by, like obviously these are two different glass sizes, but I mean, you can kind of tell, like probably similar amounts of liquid came out of them. I bet if I put this in like an actual, like the juices that I, hang on, this type of thing. I bet if I cut into this, and then tried to like squeeze more, I get a lot more juice out. How much juice did we get? Turns out not that much. There is so much juice still in this. Now normally I wouldn't juice an orange like this, but I feel like we like pretty much butchered that one. <laughs> like look how much juice was still in just the one half of the orange. Did not get a significant amount of juice out and I like these ones a lot better. I love, by the way, that this is a 4.9 out of five rating. Who's rating this thing? Who thinks that was good? And then this one right here has a 4.8 rating and like almost 800 reviews. Wow. And I guess you just twist it in. Well, I did poke a hole in it. How am I supposed to get this? And maybe I need to use these together. First we dig the hole, and then we put this guy in. I wonder if I can just... <laughs> I know that's not how you're supposed to do it, but... I just wanna try it. Oh, look at that! That wasn't super exciting, but I, did. I am getting a little bit. What are, you, what are you spraying with this? 
I didn't even like think to check. Uh, apparently it's good for spraying meat. What? That's all I see. That's all people seem to be using it for. Yep, just a meat sprayer. Don't buy these. <laughs> these were basically useless, unless you're looking for a citrus corer, in which case like, maybe this is helpful for you. If you're gonna get something, that's the way to go. Oh. That is good. All right, this next product that we're gonna test out is not something that I am personally going to be partaking in, but it is something we bought like months and months ago um, when we made all of these different orders, and that is an air pressure wine opener. So Chris is gonna help me with this because I feel like it's weird if I did it myself. <laughs> Hello to the internet. Hi, internet. We have here a fine 2007 Pelra Estates ice wine. Ooh, ah. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. So this has a wax seal. Should still be fine, but might be an added. Is that like is that a normal thing? I don't know wine at all. Uh, normal? No. <laughs> oh, are there instructions for this, or am I just jamming this in? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they just jammed yeah. it in. Yeah. Oh look, look, what? look! Sorry. No! I'm lifting out. Blah! <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? No cork in there. No. Wow, it all came out on this. Was it easy to use? Like, yeah. it, it looked like it was like relatively no, yeah. easy to no, like jam in. So. No, it was not difficult to Is that something that you would use again? Yeah, yeah, you know what, actually, you know what this would be really good for? If the top part of the cork breaks and you can't like get a cork screw in there, this would be really good because you could still put this through the cork and then push it out that way. Just as easy, if not easier than a cork screw, but even just as a backup, this is great to have. I think this is literally the first time that you've ever said that anything off of like Wish or AliExpress was actually worth the money. <laughs> Usually you yeah. hate everything that I end up I getting. Do. I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And you're like, I'm never gonna use that. Did you like the other melon slicer thing? No, like I liked it. I just, I'm gonna use a knife, you know? What about the grater or the banana cutter where I almost lost my finger? <laughs> All great options. It was sharp. <laughs> it was sharp. This is good, this works. Thumbs up from Christopher. You may take your ice wine now. I don't want any of that. Actually, I've got this thing. Is it another gadget? Yeah. Is it from Wish? No, oh. I don't think so. Okay, so we used air pressure to take the cork out. So this okay. is like a cork fit on and then you pump out the air with this thing. So in theory, it keeps it fresh longer. I am learning so much about wine. <laughs> I don't know if it works or not, but let's see. I think it was part of a gift set, like a wine tools gift set. Well, thank you for your for your assistance. I appreciate it. Okay, this next product I'm probably the most excited about, and it is a product that helps you to create those like tri-colored icings. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of months ago, I attempted to do this like freehand basically. Freestyled it with some Ziploc bags. You know what? We're going rogue. This is not the perfect icing consistency. Internet. I don't want to meld the colors together. I just want it to be thin enough that it fits. And it basically failed miserably. So I bought this little like piping tip thing that you basically put three different bags of icing in. You form them all together. You put the little piece on that kind of keeps everything together. And then you can see three different icings there. And it just like, it looks so cool in the picture. And like, it like it pipes it all out and everything. I'm very excited about it. I have three different icings right here and I figured we would like dye them. So one, I'm just using regular, this is neon food coloring just because I found it in my collection of food colorings and it wasn't open yet. So I wanted to try it. Then I'm gonna do violet. Oh, that's way too much. What am I doing, Rachel? This is gel and then royal blue. And now that I'm seeing these all out, I'm realizing that I'm going to need spoons and I just unnecessarily dirtied two additional knives. Cool. So let's stir these up, see what colors we have. I feel like I want these to be like a lot darker, like a lot more. Pigmented. I was going to talk about like makeup products being pigmented. So it's kind of fun when I get to talk about food being pigmented. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Herbal. I also tried, by the way, to make a much thicker icing this time. It's like a little bit of a workout, not gonna lie to you. But I'm really not that fit to begin with, so I'm not that surprised. I'm just gonna like fully mix them through one more time to just make sure Everything is as incorporated as possible. My hands are cramping. <laughs> That's really sad. It seems like what I need to do based off of what I'm seeing is that I need to feed this through, but chop it so that it will fit here, but all these pieces will kind of slot together. I need to trim them like here. 
I think that was too much. Is that gonna like fall off? No, I think it's good. Then I'm gonna put this over glass because in the last video you guys recommended when you're filling it to like fill it like this and then everything stays in one general area. Appreciate your support in my dreams to becoming an excellent icing piper. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Oh my gosh, I feel so professional. Okay, now we have another two to go. Okay, I'm gonna cut these a lot smaller than I did last time. There's something like oddly soothing about this. Just very like methodical. I'm not very fast, but I am enjoying myself. <laughs> So the next thing I need to do is I need to fit these all together. So I guess it just goes like this. And then I need one more. And they all kind of fit together. And then I put that on. Oh, wait. Do Did it come with a like a piping tip? No. No, it didn't. I think I have some. Hang on. All right, I found a bag. So this one looks like it is the biggest option that I have. It's like it's just supposed to like fit in. No, it's not gonna fit. <sighs> okay, um, do I need to like, does it say what I'm supposed to use? I think this would have been helpful for me to see beforehand. Okay, so it looks like there are specific measurements of piping tips that are big enough that they can fit in here. Um, so looking at it, it looks like I need to buy 1A. Oh, so bummed. So yeah, so now I have to pause my filming and go and buy that. So I'll, I'll be back. It won't look like anything on the video though, which is the great part of editing. So <laughs> everyone. Success. Oh wow. Rachel, what did you what did I do to my hair? Did I go in public like this? Well, it's the only thing that I could find and it came with 12 different pieces. So I will never have this issue again. This isn't 12. 12 pieces? What are you talking about? There are four. 12 pieces. Oh, <laughs> eight disposable bags. Alright, fine. I'm going to try this one, which is like the cleanest cut looking one. It's just a nice round one. So I'm gonna go and grab the icings. I'm going to wash this. And then hopefully, actually, let me check and make sure that this actually fits. I'm gonna be so mad if this doesn't fit. Okay, I have my three, three icings here. Flip them together. Oh my gosh, please work, please work, please work. Please work, please work, please work, please work. <gasps> yes! Let's get to finally doing some icing. This better be worth it. So I have here a cupcake, which I have mostly scraped the icing off of. And by scrape, I mean, I've eaten it. It was my daughter's birthday this weekend. And so I had cupcakes just lying around. So this ended up being perfect in terms of timing. I could just pipe on top, but you know, I gotta, I, I don't have a reason. I just wanna eat icing. It's really good icing, by the way. This is from the video where Chris uh, gave me a recipe and I had to follow it without looking at the video, only with audio. Like we have actually converted over from our normal icing recipe to this one. It's really, really good. Okay, hands are washed. Cupcake is bald. Let's get into this icing. Maybe I'll do it on the, on the, like a plate first. <gasps> you guys! Redeemed. Oh no! <laughs> Almost. Except I split the bag apparently. Oh no, this is the one that I cut too high up. Okay, noted for next time. But like, pretend that didn't happen. I'll put tape on it. Okay, it's not the cutest looking, but that at least is gonna fix it. I have never been prouder. This is my biggest accomplishment to date. Like, ignore my like really terrible icing job here. But like, I love it so much. I don't know if I'm gonna let anyone eat that. But can we just appreciate, hold on, I need to bring this closer so you guys can see it. Everyone appreciate all the work that went into this. <laughs> Pretend it was iced well. Wow, that worked really well. I feel like I've redeemed myself a little bit, kind of, not really. I will be using this again, and obviously all of the uh, large tips that I now have that I can like experiment with like different ways in which the icing will look on the actual cupcake. <laughs> wow, exciting. All right guys, this next one is an herb keeper. So I picked 
three different types of herbs from our garden and you can see in the back here it has a little spout so you're supposed to fill it with water every three to five days so there's some water at the bottom down there and then I have this lid that is going to fit right on top and then this is like the little plug that like seals it up but I thought it'd be really interesting to compare this to two other popular methods of keeping herbs so one is very similar but it has like a little cup as well as a plastic bag that sort of like loosely covers up the herbs there. So that's one method. And then the other one is just wrapping the herbs, like the bottom part in a wet paper towel and then sealing it in some form of bag. So I figured we'd put these all into the fridge at the same time and just see what they look like by the end of the week. So see you guys on Friday. Okay guys, I'm back. It's Friday. It doesn't look at all like it's changed from the last time I filmed, but it, it's, it's now Friday. So I have sort of been analyzing all of the different herbs and what they have looked like now. So I have to say the one that looks the worst is definitely the one that was in this silicone bag. The paper towel is still damp. It's just all of the herbs, especially the parsley, um, have wilted. And then in the glass here, you can see again, parsley has wilted. Um, it held up fairly well. I did notice with the time it is starting to like wither a little bit and that had the plastic bag on top of it as well. And then in the herb keeper, this is probably the one I was most impressed with. Like everything is intact. The parsley looks fantastic, has not wilted in the slightest and everything looks really good. It was easy to use and check on like the water supply, like fits really nicely inside the fridge. Highly recommend. If you use a lot of herbs and stuff in your cooking, it's really great. All right, this guy, this little pinwheel guy, this is for cutting up watermelon. And if you couldn't already tell from the beginning of this video, uh, we have a watermelon and I have been enjoying it. And I tried a different one that I bought off Wish for the last kitchen gadgets that I did. Ooh. Yeah, and then if you alternate like that. It's a boat and it worked fairly well. It did need a little bit of like, you need to like drive the thing into the watermelon to like pull out some of the products. So I was like, maybe this pinwheel will be easier and then I can like compare the two having tried the boat, you know? So I have um, a watermelon right here. That's the way they have it cut on the, um, the picture here as well. These are the instructions. So we put it into the watermelon and then we bring it out like a pinwheel and ta-da, perfect little watermelon chunks. <laughs> Keep my hands down here, Rachel. Oh, that was not as difficult as I thought. And also I didn't do a very good job. Let's try that again. Let's try a little bit lower. Ah. I feel like it's not helping that I'm sitting down. Maybe I need to stand for this. Okay, let's try there. And then I just lift and dump. I mean, it is working. It's not cute though. Wow, I'm making a mess of my counter, but I have watermelon now. Mmm, that's a good watermelon. So between the two, this one feels easier to me at least um, versus the other one. But I feel like I would still need to go through and like, like how would you get the side pieces? You don't want to waste watermelon. Does it work on an angle? <laughs> Kinda. Would it be easier to just chop it? Probably. <laughs> but I like a gadget, okay? Plus there's something oddly soothing about this whole like windmill thing that I'm doing. Also butchering this poor watermelon to death. Just want to see how much I can actually get out. Like it's a lot of juice. I feel like I want to save this. Who doesn't love watermelon juice? My son ate drank all of the orange juice, by the way. This worked. It feels like something I would need to practice to get really good at. Um, and I only get watermelon that's actually good here, like what, two months out of the year? We don't grow things well here. I mean, it works, but you still have to like chop the watermelon with a knife in order to get into it to get all these chunks. But like, it was pretty easy. Credit where credit is due. It did do what it said it was gonna do. I'm still doing it. I'm still, still doing it, everyone. Look at my pile of watermelon though. Huh? So what do you guys think of these like kitchen gadgets? We're just gonna sit and chat and eat watermelon. Are there any that you love that you have bought that you've been really excited about? Let me know what those are. And if there are any other gadgets that you guys want me to test out, whether it's in the kitchen or organizing or anything, let me know down below if there's any like categories of stuff. And now I'm just gonna sit here 
and eat watermelon. <laughs> so like basically my stomach will be baby and watermelon. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you have missed any of the other kitchen gadgets that I've done or tasty videos, organization, stuff like that. And make sure you subscribe. New videos here every single Saturday. Come join us as well as soon to be two videos a week. Very excited about that. If there are any types of videos you guys want to see, let me know. I always read all the comments and I love to hear from you guys. So keep it posted. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah. Like how I couldn't do a full kiss because I'm holding watermelon. I couldn't put that down apparently. I'm very sorry. It was just really good watermelon though.